my generation and for all the generations to come, our choice is clear. Our choice is a man who's always chosen us, a man who already is our President Barack Obama. Thank you. If we want to give all of our children a foundation for their dreams, if we want to give them that sense of limitless possibility, that belief that here in America, there is always something better out there if you're willing to work for it, then we must work like never before. And we must once again come together for the man we can trust to keep moving this great country forward. My husband, our president, Barack Obama. Now, people ask me all the time how we got four surplus budgets in a row. What new ideas did we bring to Washington? I always give a one-word answer. Arithmetic. We simply cannot afford to give the reins of government to someone who will double down on trickle-down. You must vote and you must re-elect President Barack Obama. President Obama kept his promises. He promised to end the war in Iraq, and he has, and our heroes have come home. He promised to focus like a laser on Al-Qaeda, and he has. Ask Osama bin Laden if he is better off now than he was four years ago. I'm here to tell you, Bravery resides in the heart of Barack Obama, and time and time again, I witnessed him summon it. This man has courage in his soul, compassion in his heart, and a spine of steel. Because of the calls he made, because of the determination of American workers, and the unparalleled bravery of our special forces, we can now proudly say Osama bin Laden is dead and General Motors is alive. As I stand here tonight, I have never been more hopeful about America. Not because I think I have all the answers, not because I'm naive about the magnitude of our challenges. I'm hopeful because of you. The election four years ago wasn't about me. It was about you. My fellow citizens, you were the change. You're the reason there's a little girl with a heart disorder in Phoenix who'll get the surgery she needs because an insurance company can't limit her coverage. You did that. You're the reason a young immigrant who grew up here and went to school here and pledged allegiance to our flag will no longer be deported from the only country she's ever called home. Why selfless soldiers won't be kicked out of the military because of who they are or who they love why thousands of families have finally been able to say to the loved ones who served us so bravely, welcome home. Welcome home. You did that. You did that. I never said this journey would be easy, and I won't promise that now. Yes, our path is harder, but it leads to a better place. Yes, our road is longer, but we travel it together. We don't turn back. We leave no one behind. We pull each other up. We draw strength from our victories, and we learn from our mistakes. But we keep our eyes fixed on that distant horizon, knowing that Providence is with us, and that we are surely blessed to be citizens of the greatest nation on Earth. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless these United States.